out the door pricing and why you should use it in today's car market. Hi, I'm Kevin Hunter, the homework guy, here today with the amazing Elizabeth, the homework gal. Before we get started sharing why using OTD pricing is so important in today's car market, I'd like to take a moment to thank the 370,000 subscribers who have joined our channel here on YouTube. And the number of new subscribers joining us every day just keeps increasing. Subscribing, by the way, is just one of the ways you can thank us for great content. We've been doing this for over 13 years now and have built a loyal following of viewers who trust us to educate you on good car buying strategies and keep you up to date on what's happening in the automotive industry. By the way, it's rapidly closing in on Christmas, so I wanted to take just a quick minute and share with you one of our THG family holiday traditions, having the kids make a gingerbread house. Check out this beauty. Well, you know what? The kids enjoy making it, but I tell you what, they enjoy eating it a lot more. <laughs> <laughs> yes, the eating part is even better. Yeah. Yes, now to help all of you cover the out the door pricing task as quickly and easily as possible with dealers of your choice, we've put together a free email template available on our website, thehomeworkguide.com. Elizabeth, can you tell our viewers what's on it? Well, the email template is what you will use to email the dealers to get the pricing information that you're looking for. It opens like this. Hello, I'm emailing you today to request a price on a specific year, make, model, trim of the vehicle that you're looking for. I'm looking for a bid from you as outlined below. I'm looking forward to your prompt response as I want to get this deal done ASAP. This statement is good because you want to convey some urgency. You're much more likely to get a better response if you state you're in a hurry to buy. Totally. Then it continues with these questions and points. Number one, is the price above or below the dealer invoice or at MSRP? Good question to ask because dealers are already going below MSRP. That's great news, isn't it? Sure is. Number two, list any additional fees I will have to pay that are not detailed on the vehicle invoice. Asking the dealer to provide a list of fees gives you an opportunity to decline them before you go to the dealership. So that's why you ask for this. Our viewer Trackman gets this. He writes, yes, ask for an out the door price, but it must have a breakdown of the cost to avoid paying dealer fees. Why? Because as Trackman points out, you can actually improve the out the door price by getting them to remove the fees. Yep. And number three, are there any dealer add-ons or products that will be required to pay for? Again, yeah. asking for add-ons gives you the opportunity to also negotiate them off the deal, giving you an improved out the door price. Number four, list any rebates or incentives currently offered on this vehicle, including loyalty and conquest bonuses, and state, I want this separately noted from the price you are quoting on the bid. Always ask for rebates and manufacturer incentives to be separated and itemized. Why? Because these are not dollars coming out of the dealer's pocket. That's good information to know because when a dealer lumps everything together, they like to say, we've already discounted the vehicle by X thousands of dollars, when in fact, a good chunk of that money is a manufacturer discount, not a discount from the dealer. Number five, finally, list an out the door price, including taxes, incentives, and all fees. And then you just sign and date and wait for responses. Email this letter out to every dealer you're considering traveling to. If the dealers are particularly stubborn in your area and don't want to help you, be prepared to shop outside of your area or cross state lines. That's right, sometimes you gotta travel a little bit. Yep. So that is how you get an out the door price from dealers, folks. Now let's talk about why you should do this in today's market. For the last two years, it's been a seller's market. Car dealers who were plenty bad enough before only got worse once they had buyers over a barrel. The cocky attitudes that dealers have shown the car buying public have been mind blowing. We hope none of you forgot those who really mistreated you during the pandemic. Now things are changing and over the last couple of months, the market has been slowly shifting back to a buyer's market. In many areas, dealers have taken to mailing customers flyers again you remember those stupid things begging buyers to come in? That said, the attitudes are far from being gone. As long as any of that cockiness exists, emailed out the door prices is the way to go. To be clear, the OTD price is the entire cost that you will pay for a vehicle, including fees and sales tax. By knowing this final price and other terms before you set foot in a dealership, especially right now, you are far more likely to handle negotiations more successfully and drive away with the best possible deal. 
That's right. It takes away all the fighting at the dealership. And that's what you want, right? The yeah. best possible deal. I also want to answer a couple of questions on this matter from viewers to help clear up any confusion that others might have had. We received an email from Jim titled, Your Advice Confused Me. Hi, I was watching your video on how not to pay dealer fees. You state to cross off the unfair fees in the finance office. However, in other videos, you state to get the out-the-door price before even going to the dealership. Please explain which strategy is correct or if they need to be combined. Can you cross off fees after you agree to the out-the-door price? Would appreciate a response. Thanks, Jim. I responded to Jim that the previous video he was referring to was based on the car market before 2021, before the pandemic and all the ridiculous price hikes. Sure. It was a buyer's market at that time. We would have totally recommended that you deal with fees right on the spot, but the market changed and right now is very slowly going back to a more favorable market for buyers. Right now with prices still being very high in most areas and dealers being very stubborn with regard to fees, getting an out the door price is the best way to go about getting the best deal. An emailed out the door request serves to remind dealers that they have competitors and they'd better not pack their out the door bid full of fake fees if they expect to get customers. It tells them that you, my friend, are in the driver's seat and not them. As Liz explained, the out the door price is essentially your bottom line when purchasing a new car, truck, or SUV. This is the total cash price you will pay for your new vehicle. I want to read another viewer comment from Gloria. I wish there would be a business to hire persons with your knowledge where buyers can hire to help buyers. I would love to hire you. Well, thank you, Gloria, for your comment. But the good news is you can get us to ride shotgun with you on your car deal. And the even better news, the help is totally free. We provide you with a free car buyer's guide and an email template for getting out the door prices they are right on our website, thehomeworkguy.com. So there you have it. For right now, out the door pricing is your ticket to the best possible deal. If you appreciated today's show, could I ask you to do us a favor? If you're on Facebook, would you visit our page, leave a comment and a review, and share what you've learned from us over the past several years, and also stop by our website, thehomeworkguy.com. As Kevin said, the free car buyer's guide is there, along with this out the door pricing email template we covered in today's show. And while you're visiting, if you're interested in giving the best possible care to your used car, check out the XCAPS and AMSOIL links. Our website is where you can find information on those products. Both products are a great way to save on gas expenses and keep your vehicle running in tip-top shape. 13 years on YouTube has been an unbelievable journey for us folks, and we do appreciate each and every one of you for joining us. If you'd like to show some gratitude by sending us a tip, the links appearing on the screen will be easy to find in the description box below. PayPal, Cash App, and of course, Venmo. To all of you who have tipped us over the last many years, please accept our gratitude. We really appreciate your thoughtful kindness. Like a waiter at a restaurant, we're in the service business and totally voluntary tips do provide a good indicator to tell us how much you appreciate what we do. I also want to remind our viewers and especially you, Gloria, for asking about our very generous offer for free car buying assistance. It's not an automated line, folks, so you actually get us. Yeah. You don't have to blow your hard-earned cash on an ineffective car club membership. Just send us a text to 701-441-3399 with your name and we'll be on standby the next time you visit a car dealership. We look forward to hearing from you. As you car shop, we will assist you with directions on how to get an out-the-door price, including all fees on your next car purchase. And yes, we'll recommend you get started with a local credit union if you're financing. And no problem contacting us months before you're looking to buy. That's actually a good thing. We can make you almost bulletproof in that time frame. Yep. And all right, if you're new here at the Homework Guy channel, don't forget to subscribe and ring that bell. We welcome you to our family. And of course, please share our videos on places like Facebook and Twitter. Thanks everyone for coming back. And to all of our faithful followers out there, you guys rock. God bless you all. I'm Kevin Hunter, the Homework Guy, signing off with Amazing Elizabeth, the Homework Gal. Once again, still earning your trust. See you next time. We, we gotta, gotta go. go.